Hi, I'm Michael Goldberg, and I will be talking about point-slope form today. Point-slope form is one of three different forms that you can write a linear equation in. One of the forms is slope-intercept. which is y equals mx plus b. b is the y-intercept and m is the slope. Another form is standard form. This is ax plus by equals c. And finally, the third form is point-slope. I prefer this form over all the other ones because it has the most versatility for me. Point slope form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And m is the slope again. So, you're probably asking when would you use point slope form? Well, let's say you get a problem like this. A line passes through the points 5, 3, and 11, 7. Write the line's equation in slope intercept form. Now, since you get, I'm just going to put this off to the side. Since you get two points and nothing else, you're, you might want to use point slope form. So we're just going to we're just going to find the slope first because that's always the first step. So slope equation, as you may have seen in another video, is y two minus y one over x two minus x one. So we're going to plug it in. 7 minus 3 over 11 minus 5. And that'll give us 4 over 6, or 2 thirds. And we can set m equal to that. Now, now that we have our slope, we can just plug in either one of these ordered pairs into the point slope equation. So I'm going to use this one on the left, 5, 3, because the numbers are smaller and easier to deal with. You can choose either one, though. So it's going to end up being y minus 3 equals 2 thirds times x minus 5. So that's our point-slope equation. Now, if the problem had asked us to keep it in point-slope in point slope form, we would end here, but it asks us to do slope intercept. So I'm going to rewrite it. And then we're going to solve. So the, our first step is we're going to distribute this two thirds. So y minus 3 equals 2 thirds x minus 10 thirds. I'm keeping it in an improper fraction just for just for convenience. Now we want to isolate y so it's going to be in y equals mx plus b. So we're going to add 3 to both sides. But 3 can be rewritten as 9 thirds which is what I'm going to do. So plus 3 plus 3 and then we end up with y equals 2 thirds x. And since negative 10 plus 9 is negative 1, it's going to be minus 1 third. And now we have it in slope intercept form. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned how to properly use point slope form. Bye.